And then let's slow motion to the outside kitchen. Remember that that refrigerator only works when you're plugged in. Power awning. And then we'll slow it down again to show you the electric power stabilizers at front and rear. So no hand cranking. As we go inside, this was the most impressive change over the last two years was I'm going through the L-shaped couch to give you more flexibility to look at the TV area without turning your neck. U-shaped dinette. Now, as in all videos I try to do, I open up all the cabinets and drawers I can to show you the amount of storage that's inside. Three burner stove, oven, and an eight cubic foot refrigerator. That's propane and electric. Eventually that'll be a dinosaur, but we'll go into that in another video. Big pantry space. And going into the bathroom. Lots of counter space for your toothbrushes, combs, hair dryer. And then you have a skylight for those tall guys trying to shower inside an RV. That's very tough, by the way. And then we slow motion to the selling point of this unit for a family is the separate bunk room. Now what's really cool about this bunk room is it has a dinette that folds into a bed. So it gives some extra space for the kids to have their own spot for, you know, board games, I would assume, except nobody really plays board games anymore. Moving on, uh, you got areas for the kids' clothing, including hangables and drawers. And you could probably sleep four to six kids in here. If you've got smaller kids, you could probably sleep six. Remember that dinette does turn into a couch or turn into a bed, and then that bunk bed lays down. As we walk back into the living room, no, you do not get to have my tripod. It does not come with the unit, but the fireplace and sound bar do. And then an area for your TV to hang it up on. No, the young lady does not come with the coach either. Sorry, guys. And in the bedroom, it's separate. Got a closed off door, no rolling doors, no pocket doors. It closes off, has a lock to it as well. And then you got two sides which you could put your hangable laundry and then foldable laundry on top. And then you have those doors up above the queen size bed, walk around queen size bed to fit all your rest of your clothing needs. Plugs on both sides for all those charging equipment, or I should say all those equipment that need charging. And if you want to see a comparable travel trailer that I filmed in the past, look in the top right hand corner.